Hello and welcome back. In the last clip, I summarized CNG, its origin, and why it's a cheaper fuel. Today, let's talk more about CNG before we get into all the technical hands-on stuff. Um, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of using CNG? Let's talk about the advantages. Well, for starters, engine life. With CNG, your engine will run much quieter. Engine oil will stay cleaner for longer. This is because the components of the engine that come in contact with combustion leave very little or no carbon deposit on the engine. Number two, it's environmentally friendly. So if you care about the planet and reducing greenhouse gases and carbon footprint, you'll be doing the planet a favor by using CNG. Thirdly, it's pocket friendly. On the average, the 1.8, for example, Toyota Corolla, uh, to the 3.0, for example, Sienna, um, you would be getting about 60 Naira per kilometer on petrol, while on CNG, you would get about 20 Naira per kilometer on CNG. Now, those are real life, real world values. I would get to how we got to those values much later on, most likely when we're running tests. Now let's talk about the downsides of CNG. This is October 2023. Currently for a nation of about 220 million Nigerians, yes, I'm a Nigerian, a very proud Nigerian, we have less than 100 active CNG stations. So that's a problem, getting where to refill your CNG. If everybody decides, okay, tomorrow we're all using CNG, that would be a problem. Number two, reduce performance. Vehicles equipped with CNG have reduced performance. They don't perform as well as vehicles on petrol. There's very little difference. But since we're all about fuel economy and we're not racing our vehicles, it's really not much of a problem. Now, this is a very, very important one. Higher installation costs. It currently costs about $400 to about $600 to purchase CNG kits. Now, CNG kits are the components that all come together to convert, you use, basically, you use them to, you bring them together to, uh, what's the word, to convert your vehicle to the dual fuel. It costs between $400 to $600, and honestly, that is, that is currently with the dollar to Naira thing, it's, it's really expensive. Those costs could come down if we could locally manufacture even the, just the cylinders. Then we also have um, the reduced boot space. The Americans will call it the trunk. So if you had a boot space of probably 200, 300 uh, liter boot space, your cylinder would occupy between 65 to 85 liters. So you have less of the space to use for your personal belongings. And then finally, limited range. Your average 65 to 85 liter CNG tank would take you between 165 to 200 kilometers. So it means you would have to on a very long stretch or a very long trip, you would need to refill so many times. Whereas your 65 liter fuel tank will take you about 600, 700 kilometers. So what vehicles or engines can be easily converted to CNG? Well, any engine that runs on the principle of spark ignition. So what is spark ignition? Well, this refers to a process where the mixture of air and fuel from the intake is ignited by a spark plug. Can CNG kits be installed, installed on diesel vehicles? Yes, they can. Sadly, this is a very expensive and complex conversion. You would have to modify the entire head cylinder and the compression ratio of the engine. Diesel engines run 
on compression ignition. That is where you would have um, very high mechanical compression, which creates the combustion. We'll discuss more about diesel conversion in another video. So, what CNG kit is recommended or is required for your vehicle? There are two major types of CNG kits in the market. There is the Venturi kit. Very easy to install and it's cheap and affordable. And then there is the sequential kit. Comes with an ECU and injectors. In the next video, we're going to get into the really hands-on stuff and differentiate these two kits and decide on which of them you should use in your vehicle. Thank you and see you in the next video.